I want to show you one of Boston's biggest, best, and most beautiful seafood restaurants. It's called the Banks Fish House on Stewart Street in the Back Bay. This is a high-end New England-inspired seafood spot, and it's from the same team behind Grill 23, which is one of the city's premier steakhouses. But this time, they're going for an upscale New England fish house experience, and they have really hit it out of the park. The Banks opened up in the summer of 2021, and it has been a big hit since day one. You just can't beat the location, right in the heart of the Back Bay, across from the Hancock Tower, and you're gonna be impressed, not just by the food, which is incredible, by the way, but just check out the space itself. This is a massive two-story restaurant, almost 15,000 square feet in total. There are multiple private dining rooms, two full bars, three fireplaces. Up on the second floor, there's a dining room with an open kitchen, a big horseshoe bar, and floor to ceiling windows. So there are just unbeatable views of Boylston Street and the Trinity Church. It all makes for a great spot for a power lunch or after work drinks or just a nice night out on the town filled with delicious food. The menu focuses on seafood of all kinds and in all forms. Think classic New England fish shack, but taken to a luxurious level. <laughs> Now, whenever I'm eating seafood, I like to start with something from the raw bar. And if you want to go big, go for the Grand Banks platter. This is a two-tier selection of assorted shellfish, so it is just loaded up with lobsters, clams, shrimp, mussels, oysters, of course, and crudo. Now, that's how you get a dinner party started. And for all you chowder heads out there, of course, they have a New England clam chowder on the menu. I'm talking next-level chowder. Nice and creamy, made with Berkshire pork belly and drizzled with chive oil oil. It's served with a fresh baked dinner roll and a spoonful of crackers. And if you want those same classic chowder flavors, but presented in a whole new way, check out the Chowda flatbread. Seriously, this is crazy good. It is super thin and crispy, topped with a creme fraiche base, along with smoked bacon, plenty of fresh shucked clams, plus tri-colored potatoes and oyster crackers right on top of the pizza. And I am predicting right now, oyster crackers are the new pepperoni. Another dish with a major wow factor is the Banks Lobster Bake. This is the ultimate New England seafood experience, featuring an impressive platter that has lobster, clams, mussels, shrimp, potatoes, and corn. It's served with some grilled bread, so you can sop up all of that delicious sauce. Some other entrees we'd recommend include the halibut. It is cooked very delicately and beautifully served over a French-style potato and leek sauce, along with some clams and roasted pearl onions. There's a mouth-watering grilled tuna. It's cooked just the way I like it. And that comes with a honey nut squash puree, a little kale and garlic chili crunch. So this dish is beautiful to look at. It is full of vibrant colors and it's really delicious. Here's a dish you've probably never had before. Squid ink tortellini. Yes, the squid ink gives it a distinctive deep dark color and it's served with some clams, sweet potato, crispy speck, which is like a lightly cured Italian style ham, all in a fragrant onion broth. For all you carnivores out there, there is no need to panic here because as I mentioned, the team behind the Banks Fish House also operates Grill 23 Steakhouse. So the filet mignon here is top notch, super tender, extremely high quality beef presented with some mushrooms, creamed leeks, and spinach mashed potatoes. Now when it comes time for dessert, you don't even have to look at the menu folks. You just gotta ask for the banana cream pie. I just wanna literally dive into this right now. It is a classic banana cream pie that's super fluffy, rich and sweet. It's made with a buttery bananas foster sauce along with some brulee bananas with that crackly caramelized crust. This is one of the best desserts in Boston and it has a real cult following. So if I haven't made myself clear already, you should definitely be making a reservation at the Banks Fish House in Boston very soon, if not immediately.